Your Honorable uh, Richards and Ambassador, and P.S. Uh, Ms. Willett, and P.S. Ms. Huber, good morning. Uh, welcome to the Embassy of Republic of China. Now is, uh, today is our uh, handover uh, ceremony for uh, our embassy. We want to hand over a check to sponsor for upgrading the lighting infrastructure of the Warner Park Stadium. So welcome you to the Embassy of Republic of China. So now may I uh, introduce our ambassador, Judge Gao, to say a few words regarding our ceremony. Thank Your you. Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, and uh, your Honorable Permanent Secretary um, with it, and uh, Permanent Secretary Hubert, yeah, welcome to here. It's about uh, two weeks ago uh, when the Deputy Prime Minister invited me to his office. It, he's uh, talking about uh, how to help the local youth yeah, to, to have uh, some proper uh, way to exercise their energy. And, I've, and the, the Deputy Prime Minister has proposed a very meaningful sport policy to me. And uh, one of the most important components is how to upgrade the local facility, the, especially the stadium um, facility. This is very important. And uh, my government is totally support the uh, Deputy Prime Minister policies. And uh, we are, have uh, such a long friendship between uh, Taiwan and the uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. So I asked the Taipei, and the Taipei totally agree immediately. I, I can say immediately agree to support the Deputy Prime Minister's proposal. And uh, we hope by this uh, support, um, the St. Kitts and Nevis, you will have a better and a higher standard quality of the stadium, which can host the most popular sport games like the cricket and the soccer, which is very useful and meaningful and very popular. Because you know, the youth, if they don't have the proper way to exercise their energy, maybe they will go to the street. Yeah, maybe they will at night, they will stay outside at night at home because they don't have the way to exercise their energy. And there some other social problem will come out. But if you can provide them a proper way to exercise their energy, to, do, to provide them a stadium which they can watch and support the local teams. They will be a very good policy and they can make this social problem can meaningful eliminate. So my government and my embassy totally support the Deputy Prime Minister's policy and we, we hope this donation will help the, the Warner Park um, Stadium and can be very suitable to host the coming soccer and the cricket games. Thank you. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Sports, Mr. Richardson, to say a few words. Honorable, please. Ambassador Zhao of the Republic of China and Taiwan, Mrs. Ioni Willett, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education. Mr. Christopher Herbert, Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth and Sports, staff of the Taiwanese Embassy, members of the media, good morning. Indeed, the ambassador is very correct when he said it is only just about two weeks ago uh, that I approached him seeking assistance to upgrade our Warner Park football stadium and Within that two weeks, he has responded in the positive. Therefore, let me say that I am truly thankful that we are here today to share in yet another act of benevolence and commitment to the diplomatic relations and friendship established between the governments of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Republic of China on Taiwan. The government of Taiwan has continued to demonstrate their support of the development of sport in our federation. In this instance, through the generous contribution of EC $867,106 to the upgrade of the lighting facilities at the Warner Park Football Stadium. 
My government realizes the role of sports in the development of our youth and the redirection of our at-risk youth and the promotion of our federation as a premier tourism and economic development location. Permit me to share this time of the recent success of Mr. Tishan Hanley, a young striker who threw the commitment of my ministry through cooperation with the local football association was sponsored to travel to Man Manila, Philippines. While the young Hanley successfully demonstrated his passion and ability and was signed to the Kaya Football Club with which young Hanley has graduated to a professional football career. My government is also committed to, through sports, the weaving of a fabric of unity in our twin island nation, demonstrated vividly when our nationals forget the differences of political affiliation, social and economic stratification, and in a spirit of oneness, support and celebrate the accomplishments of our homegrown athletes. One such example of accomplishments of excellence is manifested in the success of our own St. Kitts Nevis Sugar Boys. Our Sugar Boys have done well. Having qualified for the second round of the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 qualifiers, the Sugar Boys have brought a premier FIFA team to our federation, generating opportunity to propel St. Kitts Nevis football to first ever achieved heights of success and by extension generate renewed passion for the sport of football in our federation. My ministry has sought to ensure support of the national team's effort through the improvement of the existing lighting infrastructure at the football stadium at a cost of EC $1,786,640.76 to meet preferred FIFA venue lighting standards of 1,300 to 1,500 lux. It is here where our allies in development, the Republic of China and Taiwan, have again responded affirmatively to our request for assistance in a generous financial contribution. Our upgrade efforts expect to see the mounting of four additional lighting masts with a total of 72 lamps providing illumination to rival that of our now well-renowned Warner Park Cricket Stadium, lighting the night sky as our national football right. team charts a new course in football excellence for our federation. It is in this light that I, on behalf of my government, express profound gratitude to Ambassador Chu for so promptly and graciously responding to the need of my ministry in this timely contribution. My government looks forward to leveraging the fullness of this investment in sport and national unity and pledges our continued efforts in the establishment of sports for peace and development of our federation. Thank you. Now let's welcome Ambassador George Chiu and the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, Honorable Sean Richards to have a hand over ceremony. Thank you.